Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm showing you the CO2 scrubber sensor adapters. So this is an adapter so I can attach all of the equipment on the inside of the tube to. So how these tubes come originally, and these are actually a water rain collector, so the lid usually goes on the top like that. But what I'm gonna do is flip the lid over and I want it to be sitting on the top. That way it gives me a little bit extra room and with all of these tubes the exact same, it's going to be consistent across all of the tests that I do. So what I need to do is to be able to have a bracket that holds not only the air bubble up but also that water temperature probe, which you can check out the water temperature probe in another video. Now these bubblers or the air bubblers are used on an aquarium. They do have adapters so you can join more of them together. And what happens is you can stick it to the inside of the wall. But what I've got here is the intake of the air goes through that top piece. And if the air is actually majority coming out the top, I'm not getting enough down the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is flip it over and have that port down the bottom or that intake. Now when it's tilted on an angle as it'll be set up, we'll have to make sure that it's not too low in the actual tube, that it gets clogged or has any issues. And then we have the water temperature probe that'll also be mounted in there as well. So now all I have to do is make up a adapter that will go onto the tube itself, but also have the lid connect to it as well. Now to keep it consistent, the perfect thing for me to do is to 3D print it. So what I've done is created a 3D print model which will basically sleeve onto the clear tube and then the cap will place onto the top. And what I've done is I've actually tried a few different versions of this as I was going through uh, to see what would help with that long stem bit on the top. So as you can see, I've actually had a few failed attempts onto the first couple. So what I found the problem was is that I didn't have the 3D printer hot enough because I actually switched across to the ABS plastic because PLA, if it was out in the sun, it would start to deteriorate really quick and fall apart, whereas the ABS should do a better job. Now, even though some of the prints looked like they had some issues, they were actually easier to clean up. So I didn't actually have any differences between all of the four of them that are printed. That way it should be consistent in their heights and everything when the sensors are all attached. We won't have any discrepancies between any of the different tubes. So after I printed all four, all we had to do is remove the support material uh, that the printer makes just to make sure it can uh, actually print properly. And then cut off the side supports that were holding that long piece as it was actually printing. Now as you can see, uh, I've got three of them setting up here. Now while I was doing that, the fourth one was actually printing but they clip on quite easily uh, and all I'm going to do is just run a bead of hot glue or something like that along the bottom and top of the adapter. So that's about it for the sensor adapter. Um, hopefully once it gets up and running it'll hold quite well and we'll get consistent results uh, on the test. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully we'll have some more videos on the system soon. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.